So what's going on guys? I'm Kyrie from How Stuff Works and we are here at the historic Banning Mills to find out how zip lines work. So I'm not gonna lie, I've been terrified of heights since I was a little kid, but I'm ready to change all of that today. They say the hardest part is taking the first step. I'm ready to leap. Let's do it. Historic Banning Mills is located just west of Atlanta on Snake Creek in Carroll County. The area was originally home to the Creek and Cherokee nations and later to a bustling mill community that produced everything from yarn to paper. Today, husband and wife Mike and Donna Holder own Banning Mills, and in over 20 plus years, they've added 107 zip lines through the trees and hold two Guinness World Records, including one for the largest zip line canopy course in the world. One of those zip lines is the 3,400 foot Flight of the Falcon zip line. Flight of the Falcon is like no other zip line in the world. It's 300 feet above the ground and flies over and under 17 different zip lines. So as you're riding, you essentially thread the needle at speeds of 60 to 70 miles per hour. It's the closest you'll get to flying like Superman. If flying like Superman is a bit much for you, Flight of the Falcon is one of the more extreme zip lines here. There are easier ones for beginners like me, but no matter which zip line you try, they all basically work the same way. They all use cables hung between two fixed points. Here, those fixed points are these massive oak trees. There's also a lot of physics behind how zip lines work. They use gravity, friction, and inertia. Gravity is the force that pulls the rider from platform to platform. Each rider's weight, plus the natural decline of the slope is what determines how fast riders go. And once the rider starts going, they keep going. That's inertia. Finally, the pulley that hooks the rider to the cable is what creates friction to slow the rider down. Most use a simple braking mechanism, though some zip lines simply slow riders down with a gentle upward slope in the cable at the end of the ride. This uphill effect decelerates the rider's speed so they can safely come to a stop in the landing zone. So fear of heights is completely normal. I mean, a lot of people are afraid of heights, but you shouldn't be so worried about your safety with the zip lining that you just don't even try it. What a rush. I'm not gonna lie, I was terrified, but it was totally worth it. Zip lining is a safe, fun, and easy way to face your fear of heights. You get a crazy adrenaline rush that makes any bit of anxiety you have totally worth it. I'm a witness. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to do this again.